And we are at Christ Church with Monday's edition of Made in the UK series of Ms. R. McFarland. Welcome to Rochester. Thank you. And uh, we've been really enthralled and entranced by your performances and singing and your albums. And we're so happy to have you in Rochester and get to see it live in person. For you, what got you into jazz and what were some of your influences growing up? Um, I got into jazz after studying at university. Um, one of my teachers was very complimentary about my singing on particularly jazz music. And before that, I was also studying musical theatre. So I kind of had an affiliation with some of the jazz standards and American songbook but not in a jazz way really until I went to university and started to sing with one of my teachers. So that kind of got me into singing jazz material. But um, I always used to listen to Nina Simone since I was a teenager. I fell in love with her voice. And um, as I developed, wanting to learn more about jazz, of course, Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, focus like that. Speaking with Zara McFarlane here on Jazz 90.1. So what was it about Nina Simone that brought you into the music? I loved her tone of voice for a long time. I remember hearing her voice on a um, in a film, I think it was, and trying to find out who sang the song. And it was actually, I thought she was a man <laughs> when I first heard the the voice. And then when I discovered that she was a woman, I was like, oh, okay. And but I love the tone of her voice, and I love the expression that she performs and sings with. Speaking with Zara McFarlane on Jazz ninety point one. So fast forward. So where did you go to university? I went to um, a place called Vocal Tech in London, which was part of. The University of West London now, it was called something different when I went, but it's now called that. Now, I discovered your music through Giles Peterson in his, in his radio show and also through his record label. Talk about working with Giles and how did you guys find each other? Um, a friend of mine, I started um, doing some house music when I first started singing professionally. I started working with a friend of mine that was a house producer and he had a friend who knew Giles. So when I released my first EP, it was self-released, I'd asked my friend to say, oh, you know, if he liked it. And he was like, you know what, I'll check to see if Giles might like it, see if I can get it to him. So he passed it to his friend, who passed it to Giles. And from there, Giles liked it and played it on his radio show. And here we are now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking with Zara McFarlane on Jazz 90.1, I always love asking musicians, what have you been listening to these days, just inside or outside of jazz? Right now, I'm not listening to a lot um, of records at the moment, actually, but I'm really involved in what's going on in the UK jazz scene. And there's lots of different things happening that are live events that happen in the UK. So we're getting to hear a lot of the UK jazzers doing their thing in different situations in London. There's an event called Steam Down, Church of Sound. Um, it's just a nice way to see everyone doing their own material there. Who are some of the performers uh, we should be checking out in the UK right now? Um, Nabaya Garcia, Ezra Collective, Camilla George, um, Jarman Jones, Oscar Jerome. There's loads of people coming up at the moment doing their thing. Awesome. And you're one of them, and we'll get to see you in about 10 minutes or so. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, thank you so much. Thank you very much.